culture being transferred from one generation to the other and do you think Ghana we are doing that as a nation we are doing much to preserve and move and transfer our heritage to the next generation so we'll be talking about preserving our rich culture our heritage and how we can move it on from one generation to the other now to talk to us about this topic um, is um, one gentleman and a lady and we have Mr. Atul Eshen, he's the CEO of Arc Group of Companies and we also have Alice Ifwa Ewa, who is the Marketing Manager for Accra Vantage Festival. So please do stay, don't go away and you don't forget that you can contribute to our topic. Please send your topic or your comments to our WhatsApp line 020-222054, again 020-222054, you can also send Send us a Facebook message as well, and we will read it out for you. So you're welcome, Mr. Ato. Thank you. And you're welcome, Ewa. Thank you. Great. So, um, Mr. Ato, I'll first start with you. Why do you think it's very important that um, we preserve our culture, our rich culture and heritage, and move it on to um, other generations? Um, coming from a marketing perspective, mm -hmm. I think um, culture is the brand of a nation. Mm -hmm. But I think that I would probably would ask that you qualify the culture because there's mm -hmm. a certain bad part of culture mm. and there's a good part. And I think that is the good part that we want to elevate mm -hmm. and then uh, make it known. For instance, we all agree that trocosy um, ha is just not the best of the cultures. So mm. over the years, we have, we, 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 we as a nation, I think that some of the things that we should be doing is to refine some of the cultures as it were mm -hmm. and then um, let it define us properly and let's leave a good legacy for other um, young it's people. It's good you to mentioned Chokosi because I, I don't even think that it should qualify to be part of culture because it's practiced by a group of people and these group of people actually adopted this as a way of paying off something that they owe so for me i wouldn't really qualify that as culture but moving on to the positives it's important that as you said we have to move it on and pass it on to other generations um so what do you do you think ghana we are doing much in that regard um yes and no i think that basically one you travel outside the country and mm -hmm. you meet somebody and he says um, where do you come from you mentioned ghana mm. definitely certain variables certain Excellent. things come in the person's mind what it probably means is that our culture is probably traveling very far mm -hmm. but in most cases people know us for kente and nothing exactly. else in other uh, other others who have encountered ghanians will say that ghanians are very nice and very hospitable, hospitable. people but i think that even that one um, it's gradually defacing and facing our way because um, we become too metropolitan mm -hmm. and so we are losing touch and base with some of the things that we do that we call very local exactly. and I think that these are some of the things that we want to talk about especially as we, we now if you look at the whole year we have some holidays but you know we don't have a, a day just like in the US you have February is Black History Month. Mm -hmm. One gets the benefit of ha listening to stories and reading about black people and other l people attend lectures and all kinds of things about blackness as it were. If you come to Ghana, we don't have such. So that's what we, we're trying to um, project. Mm. And I think it's even, <coughs> we begin to dilute the little that we have and um, getting it all twisted I bring in Western culture so the authenticity of our culture is being questioned now so either there's a need to actually preserve that which we have so do tell us about your your motive you know or your um, your I'll, I'll put it um, your venture of helping us preserve our society and our, uh, our culture um, taking it from what we did last mm -hmm. year, I think last year what we, we the, the, the aim was the same, but we used um, symbols to, to communicate um, what we wanted to project, mm -hmm. and that was vintage car. Okay. So what we're saying is that if you take a car which is 60 years old, mm -hmm. the quality of metal, the quality of production, 
and um, you compare it with a new car, usually when a new car leaves the showroom, immediately it loses 20% of its value. Okay. Every year, vintage car has value. So what we are saying is that some of the good proverbs that we used to uphold, like good name is better than riches, mm -hmm. um, it is totally gone. Um, value and honor for the elderly. Because w if you compare the young and the old, it is said that what an elder person will stand and see, mm -hmm. when a younger person stand on a table, the person will not even be able to see. Exactly. Now, it, it, it places the value of honoring the old and the experienced and the mature at where they are supposed to be. And I think that over the years, as a nation, we are losing our values. And some of the values like respect for the elderly. Mm. You turn on your radio and on TV and you see young politicians insulting elderly people because they've said something that they do not agree. Mm. And you, 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 we, we are depleting our models, um, people we can look up to, because those people have been battered, insulted, mm -hmm. and so now you, you can't look at an old elderly figure and say that this is the person we want to emulate. Excellent. We think that these are some of the good values that um, we've, we've, we are losing. So okay. we took use the vintage car. So we had a vintage car show. We had a ride in town just mm. to portray to people that, listen, these cars were made over 50 years, mm. but they still have values. Value. Actually, those who know about vintage cars, every year values are added because mm. the cars are becoming more extinct. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would, you would drive through town and you wouldn't see um, a Mercedes made in 1950. Mm -hmm. um, so by and large, they become more expensive and people mm -hmm. would auction and pay for $200,000, $1 million it's, to buy it's, a vintage car. It's quite car. interesting how you use something like a product like cars to preserve culture. It's, I, I don't know, it's such a brilliant idea, I think. And how's the patronage, uh, patronage been like? Um, have people bought into that? Do they come? How, how, how has the response been? It was, it was very, very good. We reached our target group. Mm -hmm. Admittedly, we don't expect everybody to be a fan of vintage cars, mm -hmm. but it, it, was, it will get there. This year, what we have added mm -hmm. is also vintage foods. Okay. Because we still have some good food we can use in representing the same uh, or mirroring the same image. Exactly. So we have something like a bullock mm -hmm. um, Acheke and all those. Acheke, it's more towards the Ivorian and Zima, but mm -hmm. it's more of an Ivorian mm -hmm. cuisine or what. But if you look at Kracha, you do you remember? No. You don't know Kracha, you <laughs> are too young. <laughs> um, too young. <laughs> <laughs> we have Kracha, Yesu. And then for those of us, I mean, again, what we are adding on to this year is that we are also celebrating those who finished school 25 years um, mm. ago. Yes. So we are looking at some products that we used to were familiar with. Okay. Um, tinapa, in our time, we had bata. I don't know whether you know bata sandals. Yes, they've come to yes. the Accra Mall, but <laughs> when we were young, they would call it Achimota sandals. Okay. Saturday the play night. deck, kind um, of? I, I, hold on. I, okay. I, I know. <laughs> Um, Bata. Bata. But okay. we used to call it Achimota Sandals. Okay. So I don't know whether you remember Saturday Night Powder. The blue container. With okay, the oh, okay. Okay, you are forgiven. <laughs> but, but there are so many products okay. that um, when we were young in school, we used. And want to let people remember those products. Exactly. Let's let them remember that, listen, these products have survived and mm. lived beyond these years because they were quality mm. um, products. And we want to celebrate that. Definitely. I mean, almost every student um, knows about sardine. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, that is still very, very common. Mm -hmm. Why is it that some product came on the market and couldn't survive? And mm. over th all these years, we still have some of this product on the market. So what are we going to do? We're going to celebrate this product as vintage product. Of course, we'll showcase vintage cars. Mm -hmm. And we'll also honor some people we will call vintage personalities. Okay. Um, Mr. K.B. Asante, not only for his age, but the fact that he's relatively upheld his values okay. and still okay. is somebody yeah. that we all respect. I think that we should continue to celebrate such people. Yes, we all, just like the Bible says, we all have sin. We all have issues we're dealing with. But we also want to say that if people have done very well, let's honor them mm -hmm. and let's celebrate them. So this year we've added uh, more variables, as it were, okay. um, to, um, to have more people assess the images, as mm. it were. You know, for instance, so if you are not a 
we are not particularly a person who likes vintage cars. There's other products that products you can well. look at and say that, wow, I mean, so part of the TV series we'll show will be some of these pictures, um, mm. dresses that okay. we, we were familiar with 25 years back, shoes, haircuts. I mean, just it is that uh, it is said in the Bible, there's wow. nothing new under the sun. Exactly. You see fashion going back and forth, and mm. sometimes you think that this thing, Abu, I mean, it's new, we're just but reinventing. We've, we've, we've seen it years back. It's exactly. all coming. These color socks, they are all coming back again. Mm -hmm. Everything keeps on com coming back. And mm -hmm. I'm sure in the next 20 years, we too will laugh because the younger people would recycle some mm -hmm. of the fashion and the things that exactly. we wear. So we are using these um, as, 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 as representation uh, of Mr. Ward, vintage. Can you just tell us more about the Accra Vintage Festival? Tell, tell us the flow. When is it starting, actually? Actually, um, the whole flow is going to start in the month of July. Okay. Because uh, we realized that the month of July has the Republic Day. Okay. And most of the time, apart from people celebrating <coughs> the Republic Day, it ends that. It, it just ends there. Okay. We are also saying that the whole month of July should be celebrated to for us to go back and reminisce to see the things that we, we used to do mm -hmm. and then we can see the way forward, how well we can move on. Mm. So basically that is the whole idea. Okay. And so in the month of July, that is what we want to do. And so we have titled it July as the month of vintage okay do you understand yes so okay. the whole of july we are going to remember the the good old days, days. The, the nice things that mm. are past just tell us some of the activities that okay. we should expect good and in in the days to come mm -hmm. for july the first um, activity we are going to do is the lecture which is going to be on the okay. 14th of july okay. at the british council okay and so that day um, we would have a lot of like my boss said, we're, we're going to have a lot of people to come and talk about a, a lot of good topics mm -hmm. and for the youth to also learn from them mm -hmm. and to know the good values that we, that, that has been there, mm -hmm. do you understand? So mm -hmm. basically that is what will, will be happening. Okay. And continuing, there'll be the good old days on TV mm -hmm. that will also start in July. The movie good old days. No, not Activity. the movie. Activity. Activities. Activities. Oh, okay. We're going to have a TV series. Okay. Yes. We're going to have a TV series. That will be on Sundays. So we, the person who is going to host the show mm -hmm. is going to have people to talk to. We're going to have vintage men and women okay. who have been in the system to tell mm -hmm. us about how far they have come and now and for us to also learn from them. Basically. Definitely. So that's that is what the whole thing is about. They would also tell us about some of the foods they enjoyed, some of the activities they, they had in school mm. and all the things that they have come. Okay, because these are people who are very, very experienced mm -hmm. and we have a lot to learn and we Great. we think that in the month of July these are some of the things that would help we the upcoming generation to, to pick it. up because we are losing focus honestly okay. and we, we really need to get there apart from the good old days which will be run throughout the whole of July, July. into August mm -hmm. we are also on the very same day that we're going to do the event mm -hmm. we're going to have a vintage car show to okay. display classic cars okay. and so this also gives the opportunities for any other person who has a vintage car to console um, to come to us okay. come and bring your car displayed for people to and to to actually appreciate the the good What's thing the that date we have for this one the date for the, the, the day for uh, we are looking at it in um august okay the date is not yet proposed Confirmed. yet so we would let you know when it is proposed okay. yet and this is also going to be done at the forecourt another proposed venue but okay. because of the cars we are going to use we are mm -hmm. looking at bringing the past cars of the president mm -hmm. and these cars are cars that should be well taken care of so exactly. it needs to be at a place where a lot of security can, yeah. can do you do auctioning like once in yes a um people who have vintage cars can bring and then would have auctioning. In fact, it's going to be a two-day program. So mm -hmm. the first day, we'll have um, people displaying products okay. and then also 
um, vintage, so we have vintage furniture, vintage watches and stuff people can um, come and buy. Okay. And we would also have booths for old schools to cook and then sell um, vintage food to, to the support their market. schools. So okay. we have, for instance, we see girls who do tatale and abo um, kakro okay. and then holy child and all of that. So they will sell. You invite my school, Central Sisters. We'll do cassava and then. Oh, no problem. Cassava and what? Yes, cassava Five and cassava. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, we'll have all the schools mm. um, do that. And there will, there will also be a fashion show. Mm. And then what we call the pop chain. A lot of the older generation understand. You know, okay. um, about 25 years ago, we had about 11 schools in Ghana Augustine, St. Augustine's, Kwabotri, Adisco. Mauli, St. John's, Takradi, and others, um, Achimata, of course. These schools had school bands. I mean, okay. they, were, um, they, they performed. And some of the people who performed, even President Rawlings was a guitarist in Achimata. Oh. Um, of course, um, Professor Akosa, mm -hmm. um, David Ampafo was a vocalist. We had all these people who were very good students but still had time to be bandsmen. Mm. We're going to showcase these people. They're going to play and compete over a bus oh, for their school. So it's going to be awesome. very, 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 mm. it's going to be a very fun time. Definitely, yeah. definitely. But um, one of the things at the lecture that I, I, I want to emphasize is that we're also going to look at um, what you call the new brand Ghana. Okay. Um, when we were young, um, you remember people place so much value on their surnames. I mean, if you were going to do something wrong, you didn't consider princess. You looked at also secretary. I mean, and if you you're, if you did something, wrong, your parents would say, Charlie, you are you are disgracing Definitely. our family name. What happened to that? People these days would do anything at all and mm. do not care about the fact that uh, whatever happens has repercussions on generations. Exactly. So we, as part of the lectures, we're going to say that. Listen, we all need to go back. When the, um, the um, new ministers are selected, usually you see the archives going to parliament <laughs> um, to support them during Primary. vetting. Mm -hmm. But when those people do wrong, the chiefs are not found. Exactly. If you are proud to support your chief, mm -hmm. um, your, your, your um, citizen, as mm -hmm. it were, um, because the person is going to be given a position, it must also be incumbent on you to make sure that the person does the wrong thing, yeah. does not steal money from the people. Mm -hmm. So we want to place value on our names and where we come from. We mm. believe that this is what we call the proper branding. Yeah. Because we had family brands. People protected their name. They were brands. We had people who, were, who protected even where they came from because they felt that if I belong to this tribe as it were, it's a brand and I can't bring shame to this people. And eventually people would now be careful to disgrace the nation if they did anything wrong. wrong. You know, because if you went out and did anything wrong, it would be the whole Ghana. Exactly. We want to place that back to our society, where people place so much value on where they came from. And then when they did wrong, the weight did not rest only on them. It mm. rested on their families, mm. their parents, and their chiefs were concerned about their behavior. Mm. I think that that is the only way out. I mean, we are becoming a, a for instance, first, we have changed our definition of success. Now, success is Land Cruiser or Range Rover. <laughs> and, or Hammer. And, uh, I, I, I don't see a lot of ministers driving Hammer, <laughs> but I mean, I, yes, I, I, for other younger people. Mm -hmm. But what happened to people who lived their name honestly and didn't have all those mm. things? What happened to res people who did research, dedicated their lives, lives to academia, mm. taught at day nursery, and did all of that? What we are saying is that we need to redefine what we call success in this nation mm. and let the young people place their value where it belongs. Mm. These days, everybody wants to work in a bank. Everybody wants to do it because their assumption is that those who, of course, they also want to work in the media as well because they get a chance to be seen on TV mm. every day. But what happened to the other professions that did not immediately bring them money, but mm. it brought them honor and then service to society? Service to society, exactly. So, um, I mean, that's really great stuff you're doing. Is this the maiden edition? Yes, this okay. is the maiden edition. 
but like we rightly said, we used what we did last year, the car, vintage car show, mm -hmm. to build on what we are doing to the, um, this year. So this, what we are doing to this year, is the maiden edition, edition of, the of the festival. Last year was just a vintage car show. We had a lecture, but this year is a festival because we have a, a lot of stuff on the menu. Okay. There's a pop chain competition. Of course, a fashion show, mm -hmm. um, vintage car show. So we are we keep extending. I believe this will not be the last. No, no, no. No, we're going to annualize it. Okay, yes. okay. God be our help. <laughs> and giving us long life. Definitely, yes. definitely. Okay, so how can people participate, get in touch with you? Those who have, we have um, a Facebook and WhatsApp account. Okay. Those who um, have vintage cars can call us and then um, register. We already have a number of them already. Okay. Fortunately, we have, we are bringing old president um, cars. You know, in other jurisdictions, people can have, go to the museum, look at the car Kwame Kume use, mm -hmm. car President Rollins use, take mm -hmm. pictures and then pay. But we, we don't seem to celebrate these things, but exactly. um, we're going to try and help the museum by promoting um, that culture as it were. Okay. So we we'll have all those cars and they are beautiful things to see. You see the new 1968 S-Class and then 2016 S-Class and then compare, you know, the beauty of good handiwork, mm, yes. leather work, quality of metal. I don't, you don't look like someone who likes cars, <laughs> but um, still, you know, you still need to appreciate. I'm sure you still use a mm -hmm. car one day if yes, you don't have one definitely. already. So you have to start appreciating the value mm. of these things. Okay, yeah. so Mr. Iwa, um, sorry, Miss Iwa, can you tell us, um, maybe you give us your number, how people can reach you, okay. and then the Facebook um, name so that people can. Okay, um, the whole thing is, if you want to get to us, you can call us from 0249 mm -hmm. 734252. And then you can also reach us on www.acravintagefestival.com. Okay, acravintagefestival.com. So um, it's been awesome chatting with you, um, talking about our culture, preserving it. I believe that our viewers would want to be a part of this. Don't forget, on the 14th of July, right, we're having the lecture. British yes. Council. British, British Council. Council. What time? 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Okay, so please, you heard it all. Accra Vintage Festivals, the whole month of July and August. Please be a part of it. Let's preserve our culture. Let's preserve our heritage and make it our own. Don't go away. Breakfast TV will be right back. Oh, we can go away now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>